Hello ladies and gentlemen, so I've actually done this quest just recently, laid to rest. So first I have to talk to Jarl Sarli the Builder. She's in front of me right there. You're someone who can Krogar's house fire? I he lost his wife and daughter in the blaze. They are fat in the hearth fire, if you believe Krogar. I do, but some folk here think he set the fire himself. They think he did it to get rid of his wife so he could be with Alva. He moved in with her the day after the fire. Even I find that suspicious. Can't prove it, but I could use your help, being unbiased and all. See if you can find anything in the burned out house. I'll pay you to figure it, whether or not he's guilty. So basically, I'm hired again as an investigator slash detective. And there's like a conspiracy. Some people think he burned it. Some people think it was just an accident. But nevertheless, he moved in with Alba the day after. So of course, that'll make some people suspicious. And just to make it clear, I'm only covering the first half-ish of this quest in this video. The other half-ish will be covered in another video because that it's it's too long to be put into one video. Anyway, here we are out of the Jarl, the Jarl's house, and this is the burned down house, and we find a ghost that initially shocked me, honestly. And her name is Helgi. <laughs> Helgi, my father says I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Are you a stranger? You know him? He made my favorite dolly, but I can't find her. Are you sure you aren't a stranger? The smoke woke me up. I was hot and I was scared, so I hid. Then it got cold and dark. I'm not scared anymore, but I'm lonely. Will you play with me? Okay, let's play hide and seek. You find me, and I'll tell you. We have to wait for nighttime, though. The other one is playing, too, and she can't come out until then. I can't tell you. She might hear me. She's so close. If you can find me first, I can tell you. Now, I'm really confused. Of course, she's a ghost, and she's going to disappear. But here's a tip. Just climb up this little hill. And look over right there. This is a good spot right here. Right here. There's a coffin and wait until dark. I'm sure you'd be confused, but this is just how you do it. And I didn't really know who she was talking about, like the other one. And it seems like that she doesn't know that she's dead already. It's kind of sad. Well, anyway, here we are after dark. And this is Laylette. That is probably who the other one is. So, of course, we have to find Laylette make and make her go away. away. And I'm trying to find her, but I can't find her yet. So just bear with me. Oh, there we go. Never should have come here. So obviously she's around. She might be fighting my follower. And here, I try to do something clever, which is to use a shout or a whisper, because it reveals, like, creatures. But I don't see any, so this is really confusing me right now. And still can't find her. <laughs> Make my left yeah, Lele has to go away. This is a pretty nice settlement, though, if you look at it. Decent sized. Snowy. Oh, and there is Laylette. 
she is a vampire apparently. And don't know why I one shot her. Pretty sure I'm only using Oreos though. But anyway, I'm gonna throw a Laylet. I always like unique thralls and you found her. Laylet was trying to find me too, but I'm glad you found me first. Layla was told to burn mommy and me, but she didn't want to. Mm. He wanted to play with me, but I can't remember. He kissed me on the neck. You're asking for trouble walking around with dangerous Layla thought like she could take me and keep me, but she can't. I'm all burned up. I'm tired. I'm gonna sleep for a while now. She's dead. He's in fear. This is just She's chaos right here. She's dead. Layla. I thought she left to join the Stormcloaks. Oh, my poor Laylet. She began to spend a lot of time with Alva. Yet just a week before, she despised her. In fact, the night she disappeared, she was supposed to meet Alva. Alva told me later that she never showed up. I never got to tell her goodbye. You think Alva? But that means... Ye gods! You think Alva is a vampire? No, you're wrong. You must be wrong. Leilet may have met her fate out in the marsh. I refuse to believe Alva had anything to do with this. There is no way you can prove it to the Jarl. So, yeah. Um, I mean... If I had a wife, I would not let her go join the Stormcloak Rebellion. I mean, come on. Just stay home, like, with me, you know? So I don't even know why he agreed to that in the first place, but here is Alva. That spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. And she won't talk to me because I do have a thrall. And this is her house. I'll make sure you have a lot of lock picks if you're bad at lock picking, or you have the skeleton key because it's unbreakable. Well, and also make sure that you have patience because lock picking takes patience. It seems to me that I've gotten worse with the skeleton key because I can't break it, so I'm just like not as methodical as I would be. I mean, look at this. This lock level is adapt and it's taking me quite a long time but anyway there we go pick that lock I'm sure I would have um, taken a shorter time if I just use regular lock picks but anyway here we are and immediately this guy sw was swinging at me mm, come on dude oh wow Rogar. He doesn't really have any valuables. But anyway, this is the this is Helgi's father. And I'm gonna thrall him too. And it looks like there's like a cellar. And the quest marker's pointing there, so yeah. Here's the cellar, and there is a book, Alva's Journal. I'm sorry, I'm not going to read it, but what I have to do now is show Alva's Journal to the Jarl. So, yeah. And I'm going to... Yeah, I, I thought about stealing some food ingredients but didn't really feel like it in the end so obviously there's a what do you call this there's something really fishy going on here I was probably involved and it's just confusing right now I'm sure you're confused too well, maybe. 
I know I'm confused right now. But the surrounding are beautiful. And I turn around once in a while if I have thralls just to make sure that they're there following. Because they get, they get glitched quite often. Here I just entered High Moon Hall. And I'm gonna talk to the Jarl. Any word of yeah. fire? That spell looks dangerous. So Alva did get it to Krogar for herself. I should have suspected her. By the gods. I assume you have proof. By Yskamor's axe, it's true. Morthal owes you a debt. Here is your reward for solving the murder, but I have another request. Unfortunately, Morthal is still in danger. The journal mentions Movar, a powerful master vampire that I had assumed was destroyed. I'll gather together some able-bodied warriors to clean out Movar's lair. They'll be waiting outside for you to lead them. All right, then. Interesting. Because she, I'm sure she couldn't have read that journal in like two seconds, but okay, go along with it. And I guess she's hired people to help me clear out this vampire's lair, vampire lord's lair. I don't even know, maybe he's just a vampire. Able-bodied warrior. If you need this old woman. Supplies, I'll do my best to provide them. This, this guy looks pretty now. strong. The best warrior in Morthal, and that's no boast. You want me to prove it? I bet a hundred gold I can take you. Oh, this guy wants to brawl. Let's do this. Just your own two hands. Weapons and magic are out. Now let's see what you've got. Let's do this, Benor. Come on. Let's. I don't know why we're fighting, but okay. Oh, and after you beat him in a brawl, he will agree to be your follower. Yep, that was a punch. And that's pretty much all I got for you guys right now. I'll come up with a second video sometime soon. Hope you enjoyed and learned. And don't forget to have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.